Hello everyone, my name is Evan, and today we're gonna to be out here on our pond. Um, on our property we have a three and a half acre pond, and it's a pretty old pond. It's been here since, for about 35 years, and it, previously, before we bought the property, there had been some type of kill off, and it killed all the fish in the pond. And um, the neighbor ended up coming over and they ended up throwing some bass in the pond, and those bass populated, but they really didn't have any other fish species really to eat, you know? So those bass ended up kind of overpopulating and they were all these little six inch long bass, like five to six inches long. You could catch them all day long. Um, and there's just thousands of them, but they didn't have any other fish for them to eat because the bass are kind of the top of the food chain. So uh, we ended up putting about 600 fish in this pond it may have been close or, or more it may have been close to 700 fish we put in quite a few fish about four years ago we put in bluegill hybrid bluegill red ear and um, we ended up putting about 10 catfish in there and now since it's been so long the population the bluegill have spawned several times over the last year and the bass are now getting big the bluegill are nice and big and it's just the balance of the pond is finally kind of is kind of about getting the right way so today we're going to be um, introducing a new species to the pond and we're also going to go ahead and we're going to get some more catfish to put in the pond as well. So every year our local farm store they end up selling fish uh, in the spring and in the fall twice a year and they sell you these little two to four inch size fish. They're basically just baby fish that you can stock your pond with. Uh, so the way that works out is you kind of place an order for how many fish you want and then on a certain day this truck shows up and it has all these water tanks on it and each tank um, is filled with a different species of fish so what they do is they basically take a net and they kind of net up uh, the amount of fish that you ordered now they don't have like an endless supply of water on that truck so they can't really give you much water at all or you know they don't want to give you any water because they only have so much water uh, so they basically net that out and you have to have your own water in your own container to be able to take those fish back to your pond so what I need to do is I need to bring containers with me that will hold pond water I'm just going to take water directly out of my pond I'm going to fill containers but I need watertight containers that won't let the water splash out as you're driving down the road and hitting bumps um, so what I've got here is the first thing I've got is a cooler. I mean, people take coolers everywhere um, in a car, to, and uh, they're fairly watertight. Um, this lid is kind of loose, uh, so I may wrap a bungee cord around it to keep it from coming open and splashing water everywhere, because I definitely don't want to lose the water or lose the fish. So the next container I plan on using is this. This is a half of a 55-gallon drum, and. I've cut this down and made a live well out of it. I did that when I first got um, the fish that I put in the pond. So it's got a little live well pump right down here that runs off of a 12 volt battery. And it just circulates the water to keep the water oxygenated. Um, it has the, the lid, this is the top of the 55 gallon drum. It fits in there about four inches. It fits fairly tight so that the, the water uh, is not very likely to splash out. But uh, as far as the pump goes, I'm not even gonna hook that up. It's only 20 minutes away. I don't think the fish are gonna run out of oxygen in 20 minutes. So the next thing I'm bringing is I got a six gallon uh, bucket here. This has got one of them screw on watertight lids. I'm gonna fill this up with water and this is gonna be some extra water in case I need it. It'll also be an extra container if I need it as well. And then I'm just gonna bring me a bucket with me so I can go over to the fish truck basically have them put the fish in this bucket and then I can take it back and pour them into each one of these containers. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, dipping water out of the pond. We're going to start filling these containers up and then we're going to go get our fish.
So I ended up buying 80 more fish today. I ended up buying 30 more catfish to put in the pond. So they were um, four to six inch long catfish. I think they're about 50 cents a piece. And that's what's in the cooler back here is the catfish. But I also ended up buying 50 black crappie. And they were two to four inch long. and But they're definitely more on the long end of that spectrum. They're closer to all being about four inches long. And black crappie is not in this pond yet. So this is a new species for the pond. Now black crappie, I mean, they can kind of overtake a pond. They're kind of a little more aggressive. They can overpopulate a pond. So you really want a large, uh, you know, pond or lake to be able to put uh, crappie in. So at three and a half acres, I think I'm kind of pushing, you know, that, that area, whether this is really big enough. So uh, really you gotta, you gotta have to fish the pond and keep the black crappie population controlled and crappie is really good fish to eat too so that's the reason why we're putting it in here now we're only putting in 50 so it'll take a while for them to kind of to build up and get bigger and to populate this pond so i figure it'll still be probably at least three years before i really get to where i can start uh, having to fish the, the crappie out of this pond but uh, i really need to just go ahead and get all these fish put in the pond right now so this water, since it was directly from the pond like an hour ago, so it should be roughly the same temperature. So I should hopefully be able to put that in there and just kind of release the fish. So this is kind of a shallow area here. And hopefully these smaller fish, this will be a safer area to release them. kind of funny they don't want to leave the the cooler it's like they're trying to swim back in so this is actually too heavy for me to lift out of here so it's probably like 20 gallons of water in here and I don't want to risk dumping it so I'm gonna go ahead and dip some water out of here get the water level lower and then I'll be able to move this over to the pond So like I said, this, this wasn't the, the ideal situation, going and buying those fish and getting them off of that truck. So they give you, they gave me about two gallons of water with each type of fish. And then I dumped those fish and that water into our pond water. So if that temperature changes quite a bit, um, that could shock those fish, it could kill them. Um, so luckily um, I didn't see any dead fish in what I brought home. So they all seem to still be alive when I put them in the pond. So. Um, so hopefully those fish will get nice and big and then here in a couple years we'll be uh, we'll be getting some maybe some good catfish and some good crappie to eat. It's been a few hours now since uh, we put the fish in the pond here. So it's almost supper time. So I'm going to go ahead and see if we can catch some uh, fish for supper and see how big a fish we can catch. So here's the first bluegill that I caught. I don't know if you can tell. That is a good size bluegill right there. So that is big enough to eat for supper. So we'll throw him in our bucket. So this bass is probably like about a 12 to 14 inch long bass. It's not like a huge bass, um, but definitely these smaller bass are the ones that are probably the best for eating. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put him in our bucket as well. 
definitely not a six inch little bass no more. So I've been catching them this size or a little bit bigger a lot here lately. So definitely I uh, think the, uh, the fish are doing better in the pond. So here's another bass they just caught, so another 12 to 14 inch long bass. Um, just another one that's a good size to eat. Um, so this pond had hundreds and hundreds of these bass in here when we first got this pond. Of course they were so small. So I'm not really worried about taking out the bass, you know. And I'm not really looking for trophy fish, you know, I'm looking for something to eat. So throw this one in our bucket as well. He decided to take a jump. So those three fish were plenty enough for me to eat tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get those filleted up and then have a little fish fry tonight. So Rebecca's actually working tonight, so it's just me. And this is definitely gonna be plenty of fish for my supper tonight. So it's actually been kind of a long day for me today, so I'm ready to sit down and relax a little bit. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had a great day. See you in the next video.